Hey guys, this is Daniel with Pwn CNC and I'm here to explain PWM and how it relates to the uh, Pwn CNC spindle kit and our VFD. Stick with me. All right, here we are with um, our VFD and our spindle kit, basically the entire kit here. Here's the PWM cable um, that everybody will soon receive. Um, over here, I've got a couple of instruments that I'm using to uh, um, test things out and verify that everything is working exactly the way I would like it. So, first thing I've got here is it's just a simple DC power supply. Basically, I can adjust it here. Right now, I'm sending 24 volts out and then right into a signal generator. This little guy here can go from 0 to 10 volts, um, pulls in. in. In this case, I'm bringing in 24 volts and I'm sending out a PD, PWM signal line. Now this is the zero to 10 volts that I can carefully control right here on the signal generator. That PW, this basically simulates your CNC controller. From here, the PWM line goes right into the VFD. The VFD reads that either zero to five or zero to 10, depending on which CNC brand you have and the controller, the controller type and that sort of thing. But um, this VFD, there's a special setting that allows you to, to configure it either 0 to 5 to 0 to 10. But what it does is it converts that signal, that voltage line. So if it's, let's say, let's say it's 0 to 5 and you have it set at 2.5 volts, right? That means the VFD is going to convert that into 200 hertz, which this is a 400 hertz motor. <laughs> Make sure I get all my numbers right. There's lots of converting going on here. But um, running this thing at 200 hertz means it's going to run at half its RPM speed. And its RPM speed is 24,000 RPMs. Therefore, running this at 200 hertz will run, the, it'll spin at 12,000 RPMs. So we're gonna do a couple of experiments. I'm gonna switch you over to a really close up view of all this so you can actually see step by step what's happening. First up is our simulator. So this is basically simulates what happens on our, v, on our CNC controller, depending on whatever it is. So in G-code, let's say you send a G-code and you want your, um, your spindle to run at 12,000 RPMs, you're gonna send a command to the controller that says, hey, run it at 12,000 RPMs. The controller will then do some calculations, and if you have a zero to five volt um, controller, which would be um, uh, Shapoko's, um, even a, let's see. Well, I know Shapoko's have got it. Let's, let's start there. I know Shapoko's are zero to five volts. So whenever, it's, whenever the controller is told to run at 12,000 RPMs, it is going to set the voltage through that PWM line to 2.5. The VFD then takes care of it from there. It's kind of a fire and forget. I'm sending 2.5 volts across the line, which means I'm expecting the RPMs to run at 12,000 RPMs. Or if I wanted to run at full speed, you know, 24,000 RPMs, I'm gonna send it the entire five volts. Now, let's say you have got a, um, a spindle or a, a, an X-carve or another machine that runs at um, 0 to 10 volts for its PWM line. In that case, 5 volts is actually going to run it at half the speed or 12,000 RPMs. Bump that up to 10 volts and it is 24,000. So whenever I set these values, I know exactly what to configure it for. So by default, here, let's switch over to our VFD and we'll take a look at one quick setting. All right, by default, if you get our spindle kit, it is automatically configured for zero to 10 volts. But to verify, you can go into this setting right here. You hit mode and then switch it to P2015. When you switch it to that, hit enter and it will tell you the maximum size of the voltage, in this case, 10 volts. So if I send it 10 volts, it will run at 24,000 RPMs. So let's go ahead and verify that. Let me grab, let me switch over to the other side of the camera here. Let me, here, let's uh, back out of the controls. So there it is, zero hertz, and here is our 
signal generator. So if I jump this up to five volts, our VFD is, receive, is going to send out roughly 200 hertz to the motor. Now we can go even further and verify that. Let me uh, back out here. Let me show you something cool. So this is a simple tachometer, and what we're going to do is we're going to test it. So on my, BF, or on my motor here, I've got one of my shiny um, collet nuts on there. And what I've done is I've taken some electrical tape and just wrapped it around, because that, that way there's only a small sliver, about a half inch of shiny material there, which is what the tachometer requires to catch the signal. It counts how many times that rotates. So I'm going to go ahead and hit run on the, on the VFD. That puts the whole system into running state, and it is currently spinning up. Now it will, being that it's running at 5 volts, which is half, it's 0 to 10, um, is what it's configured for. So sending half that, or 5 volts, will run it at 12,000 RPMs, which is what it's doing. We can take our, volt, our tachometer here, point it right at our machine, and there it is, there's a good setting. You can see that it's running at roughly 12,000 RPMs. I don't know if you can see that on the screen. Well, let me see if I can get this spinning around here. There it goes. So it's running roughly at 12,000 RPMs. And of course, changing this to, let's say, reduce it down to 2.5 volts, should run it at 6,000 RPMs. And again, running our tester here, we can see that it is running at, let me get the right setting here, come on. There it is, 6, 000, roughly 6,000 RPMs, which is perfect. There is a give or take, so it won't be perfectly right at 6,000, because this is PWM, so it depends on the voltage, it's kind of a fire and forget. The controller is firing off 2.5 volts, and it expects the um, VFD to handle that conversion to the proper setting. So let's go ahead and hit stop. This is kind of an emergency, kind of a uh, stop the motor no matter what, regardless of whatever the controller is saying. So just know that whenever you want to run it, you actually have to hit run. So let's, uh, let's do a quick, uh, another quick test in here. This is actually a good place to uh, leave the camera. Let me reduce the motor down. Let's go ahead and go back down to zero. Now, let's say you have a 0 to 5 volt. Let's say it's a Poco or something like that. You're going to hit mode, go to P2015. I'm sorry, uh, yeah, 15. <laughs> go over to uh, and switch that to 5 volts. So 05.00 and hit enter. The VFD will now accept 5 volts as the maximum speed. So if we switch this to run, Rotate this up to 2.5 volts. It should run at 12,000 RPMs. So we'll let, give that a second to uh, spin up the space. Take our tachometer to verify. And yep, yes indeed, it is 12,000 RPMs. And there we go. We're all set. So that's a little uh, intro to exactly how your controller works, how it's sending that PWM signal, how we're running verification and tests on our VFD to ensure that everything is working properly, and um, noting that a proper voltage sent to the VFD will convert that to hertz, which sends it over to the motor, which runs it at the expected RPMs. If you have any questions, just leave them down below. Um, reach out to support at pwncnc.com. We're happy to help. Um, and as always, don't just own your CNZ, dominate it.